Just one more week till the Oscars now. Jumping back in, let's start with Best Editing. Several of these nominees could win depending on what the Academy is looking for, but I mostly just want to talk about why I do not want it to be Elvis. I know many people seem to find its fast-paced editing fun and amazing, but I have pretty much the opposite impression. This movie is just chaotic. Nothing is ever left to gel with the audience before a flashy effect cuts the scene away like a bunch of montages stitched together. It actually took me out of the movie, and I 100% think it does more harm than good. I realize this is part of Baz Luhrmann's style, but that does not make it good in my opinion. Impressive effects and visuals do nothing for me if they overshadow the story. For another quick, spectacle fueled example of editing, Everything Everywhere All at Once is similar to Elvis but does not let itself get caught up in its own hubris. This film's wacky use of fast cuts ties in well with the multiverse story to portray the themes to the viewer in an enjoyable but not distracting manner. It gets my vote for the award easily. <laughs> Best Cinematography is kind of a mixed bag this year. I know Roger Deakins has won the last two of his 16 nominations, but I really want to go with James Friend here. A few war films have won this award, though not enough to properly call it a trend, but All Quiet on the Western Front is truly a gorgeous film that would deserve the win. Cinematography is one of the genre's strengths, and this film takes full advantage of it with beautiful snow landscapes, grisly battlefields, and frame shots of the characters that convey its more emotional moments. It's Avatar The Way of Water. <laughs> Best original song has been a roller coaster for me as time has went on. For most of the year, I thought Lady Gaga had this for Hold My Hand, which is a banger of a song, by the way. And then Black Panther Wakanda Forever came out with Rihanna's emotional tribute to Chadwick Boseman and Lift Me Up, and my thoughts changed a bit. And then M.M. Kiravani's Natu Natu started basically sweeping this category in award season. And yeah, I've got to agree that Natu Natu deserves to win this Oscar. Not only is it a great song, it is also actually incorporated into the film and not just restricted to the credits. RRR should have been nominated for Best International Feature and Best Picture, let's be real here, but hopefully it can clinch this award at least. Not salsa, not flamenco, my brother. Do you know Natu? <laughs> 